But all the impacts tied to climate change in the oceans are not being carried over into some distant future. The modifications of marine animal species caught by our fishermen are a very current reality with direct consequences for the composition of our menus. In the North Sea, the massive movement of cod towards the north is not just an isolated example. So on top of cold water species moving north, we also see warm water Atlantic species coming into the North Sea. Good examples are sea bass or the red mullets and other uh, will follow. There is anchovy, there is more sardines in the North Sea. So all these species are more or less invading uh, northern waters due to temperature increase. And it's clear that creates new opportunities for fisheries. On our plates, it comes down to replacing one fish for another. There's nothing particularly restrictive about that for the moment, especially when the only people concerned are people who eat fish. Super <laughs> is not eating the same kind of fish. Ooh, I don't know. Um, I, I don't eat fish myself. <laughs> Vegetarian. There are countries like Germany where seafood does not play that big role. So I don't expect dietary uh, thoughts uh, to be uh, predominant. But uh, in France or in, in Portugal or in Spain this may be different and people may think more about uh, possible changes of their uh, diet. But in terms of marine biodiversity, there are rather unpleasant futurist scenarios that exist in which certain animal species will largely outnumber all the others. It's also possible that some other components of your ecosystem will benefit, uh, such as jellyfish. It appears that jellyfish are more and more abundant in numerous European marine areas. Human activities such as overfishing, Maritime transport and climate change are regularly being questioned. Just to give one example, the Mnemiopsis jellyfish was recently discovered in the Baltic Sea by Sandra Kuber of the Oceanographic Institute of Warnemünde in Germany. In autumn 2006, we were diving in this area and um, we found lots of comp jellies we have never seen before here. We found that this is a species which not belongs to this ecosystem. Uh, it's Mimiopsis lydii, originating from the Atlantic coast of Northern America. They probably arrived with uh, ballast water from ship traffic. We are sure that this species established in the Western Baltic Sea and is even able to reproduce here. As a great consumer of small-sized prey such as fish larvae, the Mnemiopsis jellyfish could have a significant impact on the fish populations present in the Baltic Sea. The animal is raising the worst fears, all the more so since its involuntary introduction into the Black Sea in the 1980s caused a veritable ecological and economic catastrophe locally, paralyzing the fishing industry for several years. Its waters being much colder, the risks in the Baltic Sea are far from being as high as those in the Black Sea. Nevertheless, at certain periods of the year, the concentrations of Nemeopsis can exceed 800 per square meter of water. This is a situation that could evolve with global warming. We expect that uh, higher temperatures would lead to increased densities of uh, Mimiopsis. The concentrations of jellyfish that we sporadically encounter here and there in European marine waters are at the origin of a futurist hypothesis referred to as the gelatinous sea. This hypothesis predicts that the combination of overfishing and warming could lead to the almost exclusive proliferation of jellyfish in certain geographical sectors to the exclusion of other aquatic species. And this to such a degree that we might even have to consider these gelatinous creatures as a future source of food protein. Farewell delicious mollusks, fish, and shellfish. And maybe we might end up in a time where grandparents will ask their uh, grandchildren 
please eat your jellyfish instead of eat your fish. Can you eat jellyfish? Um, the, sorry, could you explain this again? Why did you say that? No, no, no. Why did you say that? Honnêtement, c'est un peu. Moi, je un petit peu. La seule chose qui me vient à l'esprit là, c'est un berk. Oui, un berk. Parce que manger des méduses. It depends, you know. It's, I don't know. I've never tried. I'm sorry. I cannot compare this. If, it, if it's nice, I'm sure everyone would like start eating it. Yeah. If they're edible, we eat other fish, so why not jellyfish? Is it necessary? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I wouldn't see the harm. I mean, if, if there's lots of it, um, yeah, why not?